Hello guys, Durant slash Learn Twain here, and today I'm playing Feed the Beast Unleashed 1.1.7 apparently, and showing off some changes I've made to Dynet, the dynamic internet in Minecraft. So this is a le completely legit world, by the way. Uh, I'll show you a bit more of it later, but let's focus on Dynet right now. So I've created a pretty cool website using some. Uh, basically mainly computer craft, dinet, and uh, miscellaneous peripherals and it works with boldcraft it's a uh, dane tree one and dane tree by the way for those who don't know is a large forest very large forest and it's also a store here so I've, you know similar to amazon forest which also happens to be an online store what a coincidence so yeah you can go to this and you can mm. look at the products, and you can choose stuff, and you can buy it online, on the internet, on Dynet, the Minecraft internet. So let's buy some stuff. Let's see, what do we need? Uh, I don't know, let's, have, let's buy some mm. flints. Let's buy a stack of flint. Let's buy some lapis, because I'm low on that. I'll buy 30 of those. Mm. And uh, let's buy something on this page. Um, I don't know, let's buy 50 coal, or, nah, I don't need that much coal, 15 coal. Let's view our cart. We have some coal, some flint, some lapis. All right, check out. And it's going to redirect us to a website called XFED, which is the shipping system. Mm. We want to ship to crafting room, but that's already selected. Basically, you can select other ones as well. But yes, we're shipping to the crafting room, which is this room, by the way. And it'll go into this chest over here. Now, that'll take a minute to ship or so. So, uh, we also have Ding Tree 2, which uh, stocks some other products, more mace, uh, mostly metals. Quicksilver tin, some ingots. Look at how much iron I have. So yeah, you can go back to the home page and then rescan stock and then now go and check all the stock again. And then there's test one. Oh no, wait, it's not called test one, it's just test. There. And uh, you still get that music one. Where you can play music on. Yeah. Stuff. And now I've added a little redstone thing so you can change the signal strength out of a redstone wire. You can't really See it. Hold on, I'll go outside. It's right in here. Change the signal strength of this one. So we can just go redstone, change value to 2. And now it'll only give 2 strength signal. So yeah, I think it's finished shipping by now. Surely. Uh, Alright, so there we go. We have 15 coal, 64 flint, and 30 lapis. Just like we ordered. So, if you're a little interested in how this works exactly, there's a massive sorting facility over here, which basically connects to a quarry and all these diamond pipes, which sort all the metals into these little chests. And then there's this little wireless turtle over here, which runs a web server. And then go through all these little chests, take stuff out of them, and then plonks them into this chest, which then gets piped down here to the transport network. Some golden pipes to make things go a little faster. Into XFED 65/61, which this runs the XFED server, which just routes. Right now, there's only three paths, as you saw. So, it can't really go to many places, but I'll be expanding that later. And then, you know, you've got some other stuff. So, I'm planning to automate this uh, little house of power station as well. So, I can control it and stuff online. And uh, what is that cow doing on the roof of my computer? Okay, keep going. So, yeah. 
Um, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll be releasing Dynet soon, along with a video tutorial on how to set it up, how to make websites, and uh, all sorts of cool stuff you can do with Dynet. So yeah, I hope you liked this demonstration, and uh, thanks for watching.